Hey guys, let's see how to have your Tapo C510W working with the Fire Stick. Here I have the app that works with this camera. Let me just show basically when I come here, you see this Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. That's the app that I'm using to work with the camera. So when I load it, it takes a while and loads my camera back there. And with the remote control, I can simply go there and control the PTZ. It takes a while to respond, a little bit of latency. You see three times here, it goes three times there. One, two, and it's basically controlling the camera. So pretty simple. You just need to use this app again. Let me just show. That's the Tiny Cam Monitor Pro, okay? Let me just show you how it works. Basically, what you have to do, just come back to the main screen and here, you're gonna look for the app here on find, search, and just insert here, tiny can. Oops, not the one. Back here, tiny. It's a tiny can pro, okay? There we go, tiny can pro. Then you find the app, you just install it and you're gonna do the setup, right? When the apps is installed, it's gonna come like this, right? Just gonna see the screen here, and then you're gonna scan the network. When you scan the network, it's gonna uh, the app is gonna find all of the cameras that you have available here, including the C510W. See, just right here, okay? But it's important to make sure that you have your Fire Stick connected to the network that the camera is also connected to. So if you come here to your network, just make sure you have here the connection to the router. That's the one that I'm connected here and I can check on my cell phone. Let me just show here in this camera that you come here to your Tapo app. You need to have your Tapo camera already working here on the Tapo app. So I go here, Tapo C510W, and from here on the settings, I can check the network. So if I come down, you see here the network is the same that I'm using back there on my TV, right? And you also come here, still in the settings, advanced settings, camera account. Okay, here in camera account, you. You're just going to enable this and create a username and a password. Then you're good to go. I have my username and password here already. So I'm done with this part, right? Then just come back here, back to the TV. Here, you're gonna load the app. Again, Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. You're gonna scan the network. Again, first screen is this one, just come here to scan can network, it's gonna look for, oops, let me just do it again. Scan the network, there we go. Hit scan here, you see it's gonna come from zero to 100%, looking for cameras. And then when it finds the camera, you just need to come here and select the camera that you want. Select like this, now just unselect this one, because I have more cameras here, okay? Unselect this one. And then you just come to this button here to add the camera, okay? You see here the information. And then you go back to the menu to manage the cameras. There we go. You see that I have different cameras. The ones that are ticked here are going to show up there on the live screen, right? I have mine already working here. Basically what I do, let me just come back to the same camera that I have, delete this one because I already have the camera there. I don't have it, I don't wanna have it twice. There we go. But basically when it finds the camera, you just come here and you insert the username and password. There we go. I have the username and the password. And that's it. You don't need to change anything else here. You see here, there's information about the camera brand and everything else, but you just need to insert here the username and the password and you're good to go. And then when you come back here, as long as you have the camera already checked here, 
is going to be available here for a live view. And you go live, takes a while to load, and it's working. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, latency. You see here some lagging because the Fire Stick is not that powerful, doesn't have much uh, processing power or memory, but it's enough. You see here, you can see somebody riding a bike. It's enough, right? And it also, it also works with uh, cell phones, right? Let me just uh, show you here that I have also working with the phone. It's an Android phone running the same software. See the difference back there? A little bit of latency in the Fire Stick. And the phone is much, much better because of the processing power and memory. The Fire Stick is not designed to run a camera like this, but it works. If you need it, it works. You can also install on Android the same app and do exactly the same configuration. See here with the app, the same type of menu. Here, live view, manage camera, same exactly menu, right? But that's the way you can have your Tapo camera. In this case, the Tapo C510W working with your Fire Stick. It also works with other cameras like Tapo C100, Tapo C200, C216. I have all of them working here with my Fire Stick. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up here, and I see you in the next video.